Hello and welcome to the JBM Sports Fanatic channel. Thank you for joining me for this video. And we're going to be talking a little bit about the Chicago Bears here and a guy who really impressed the coaching staff enough to get signed in receiver Chris Lacey following his rookie minicamp tryout in which he participated, obviously, as part of a tryout basis for the Chicago Bears and did well enough throughout that three-day camp to earn himself um, to get signed by the Chicago Bears. And he'll continue to get a chance to continue to impress, you know, now that the veterans will be getting more involved, that they start having some organized team activities beginning on May 25th. Um, but he joined a list of rookies for the um, Chicago Bears, as well, and not just rookies, but also guys who went undrafted. We all know the impact that COVID-19 had over the last two seasons, really, in terms of guys trying to make the team. So there's a lot of guys that were, um, you know, trying to bod for um, roster spots on the tryout basis, as well as, you know, obviously undrafted rookies, things of that sort. Matter of fact, for the Chicago Bears, a total of, I believe, 33 players um, we're expected to be on hand. Um, we're talking about seven draft picks, 13 undrafted free agents, I believe, um, eight first-year pros, and five undrafted, um, well, unsigned um, veterans, I should say. And so they were expected to participate on a tryout basis. And so that's a lot of competition, a lot of guys out there trying to impress the um, coaching staff. Normally the Bears, they usually have about 30 to 40, I believe, um, in terms of rookies that participate in minicamp. But we all know the restrictions this year due to um, COVID-19 and its impact on the season that that's um, you know, going to be lower this year. So that was expected. But, um, yeah, definitely this was a great opportunity for Chris to go out there and really just show the coaching staff what he um, had. And so now he's going to have a chance to continue to ride on a little longer and continue to show what he can do. Now, he has spent some time, you know, since he last played at Oklahoma State in 2018 with the Detroit Lions and the Dallas Cowboys, you know, trying to make rosters there and just see whatever he can, you know, be a part of to continue to improve. Because at this point, it's going to be about him continuing to develop and, you know, utilize your strengths and just continue to learn the game and minimize your weaknesses as much as possible. That's really what it comes down to. And just to recap his career at Oklahoma State, um, throughout his entire career, going from 2014 as a freshman to 2017 as a senior, he had 63 receptions, 920 yards, averaging about 14.6 yards a catch um, and five touchdowns throughout his entire career with Oklahoma State. So he's definitely someone that's going to go that's going to go into this looking to just continue to improve. Um, his best season in Oklahoma State was back in 2016, and that year he had 31 receptions for 489 yards and three touchdowns, which were all um, career highs for him at the collegiate level. So certainly going to have a lot of room to improve. I mean, the Bears, you know, they seem to have a pretty solid um, receiving core this year. We all know the whole Allen Robinson situation. We'll see how that plays out in the offseason next year in terms of, you know, beyond this year. So certainly it would be nice if they can hit on a steel receiver just for the future or someone that can come in and add more depth to the position. You know, the more that you can help out a guy like Justin Fields, obviously Andy Dalton will get the first crack at sounding like. But if Justin Fields goes out there and keeps impressing the coaches, he may get in sooner than that but I expect them obviously at some point to get in and so yeah the more weapons you can have the better you know in Chicago you know they haven't had a 4,000 yard passer so guys like this would definitely if they're able to reach their potential would certainly make that a little bit easier of a task to accomplish so with that being said though thank you so much for joining me for this video you know as more news continues to drop you can be sure to find it here so thanks again for watching and have a great rest of your day